Hello, welcome. I'm the Bear Bro Brummie and welcome to my workshop, Stroke Garage. Today, we're gonna to talk about limb alignment. In my opinion, it's the first step you should take in setting up your new bow. Why? The reason being, the string has to be in the correct place before you start to set up things like your tilly, your brace height, your center shot, or your knot point. Because without the string being in the correct position, there's no way you can get any of those things in line properly. Right. What you're looking for is the string needs to run straight down the center of your top limb, through the center of your riser, and straight out through the bottom, the center of your bottom limb. Now you can use biter blocks for this kind of thing, but me being a brummie and a bit tight, I haven't bought one of any of those. I have a different way of doing it. All you need to do this very simply, some masking tape, your allen key or bolt to adjust the limbs on the side of your riser, a pen and a pencil, and a ruler of some kind. Uh, what you need to do is set up your bow on a bow clamp if you happen to have one. This isn't a fancy bow clamp that you can buy at a shop for a lot of money. This is one made out of a block of wood and a bolt. As I said, I'm a brummie and a bit tight, but it works perfectly well. If you haven't got anything like this, you can always rest your bow on the back of the chair. Just like this. The important thing is to make sure your bow is in such a position that nothing interferes with the limbs. So the string sits in its normal position, i.e. do not lean it up against a wall or anything like that, because that doesn't work. That will move one of the limbs slightly, so you'll never get an accurate measurement. If you keep it in a freestanding position, so it's clear at the top and clear at the bottom, then your string will sit in its natural position, gives you the best chance of measuring your limb alignment as accurately as you possibly can. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, so I've set the camera up nice and close, so now you can see exactly what I'm doing. What you need to do is place some masking tape somewhere about there, about four to five inches above the top of your riser, just like that. In my case, I'm going to go just above my limb savers because they're a little bit in the way. Okay, take your ruler and your pencil. Measure the width of your limb. You want to get halfway, the exact centre of your limb. So mine are 40 millimetres wide, I shall mark it there. And again just at the bottom of your masking tape, just there. Take your marker pen, join the two like dots up to give yourself an accurate center line. Just there like so. That gives you the center line then for the rest of your measurements. All you need to do now is rep replicate exactly that on your bottom limb and you're ready to check your alignment of your string. Okay. What you need to do is line up that top line with the string as best as I can like that. And if you notice the string completely covers the black line, goes straight through the center of that top limb bolt there, straight down as best I can through the center of the bottom limb bolt there and again covers the black line you just see the black line just there covers the black line while still passing right through the center of that bolt which tells you that that string is perfectly in line but what if it isn't now then if your limbs aren't straight aren't aligned correctly like I know that this bow isn't because I've just changed it you'll see something like this in the case of the bottom limb try to keep the camera still as I can because this is a bit difficult you see the string passes straight over the bottom line straight through the center of that bottom bolt but when you come up to the top limb the string is passing to the left of the top bolt and you can just see that black line sticking out to the left which tells you straight away that that top limb needs to go that way move to the right I'll show you how to do that in a moment most ILF bows will have some kind of limb adjustment just here and here um, they're all a very similar kind of system there's normally a locking nut on them and two bolts either side that push the limb from side to side so you can adjust it in the case of these win and win bows 
there is two lock nuts on the outside and two allen keys on the inside they're both the same size nuts so they're nice and easy to do i'll just reset the camera again so you can see exactly how to adjust it okay i've got the camera set up so you can just about see how out of line the string is so first thing we need to do is remove the locking nuts in the case of the win and win it's just two little locking nuts one comes out of there And the second one out of the other side. Like that. Now we need to push the top limb in that direction. So we need to loosen this one off on this side. I should just take one turn out of it. Like so. And turn this one in that way. If you watch closely, you should see the string start to move back into place. Let's just push it back just a touch. Loosen that one off. Tighten that one in a little bit. And there you are, you see the string now sits perfectly in the middle. The black line up here has now disappeared behind the string. So that is now perfectly back in line. Once you've got them in place, just make sure they're both tight up against the limb so it can't move in any way. And then pop your two lock nuts back in just to tighten it all up. Same on the other side, like that, and your limb alignment is now complete. The only thing I would suggest is, once you've set your limb alignment, go out and shoot a couple of arrows and bring it back in again and have another quick look at it, because sometimes the limbs just need to settle in place a little bit. I would leave your tape marks on there but a little while while you just check it for a second time but it should be fine sometimes they move a touch and they just need to be just fine-tuned a little bit but this one in this case is fine I don't need to check down I don't need to recheck it I might have a look at it a little bit maybe if I feel like it but maybe not so there you go that's limb alignment relatively straightforward a hard thing to explain but a simple thing to do I'm going to do a whole series of videos on setting up your bow I'm going to go right through all the tiller adjustment and your knock point and your brace height and everything else you need to sort out for your, for your new bow. Uh, if you like the video, please click the like button. If you've got any questions or comments, please comment below. And if you're something you really like to see in the future, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'm intending to do a few videos on bow setup and another few on days out at field archery clubs if you're into field archery because I shoot field archery I don't shoot targets my field archery is my thing but if you, if you fancy having a, having a look at what NFAS field archery is all about please join me again bye bye